Yeah, get, make sure all the brothers get, get them too. We don't have them. Y'all keep that for your own person. Okay. I pass this out, okay? This is King Alfred's plan. They tell you there's a separation between church and state, but there is no separation between church and state. Okay? The people that are running this government and this world know that the Bible prophecies are true. And they're posturing against God's people. Alright? They're, they're the people that have set up their institutions and gave you this brand of Christianity you see in the world today that wasn't a part of what Christ was teaching. Okay? According to the King Alfred's plan, and I wanted to bring this, this is, this is Matthew 24 in a nutshell. Within the last 20 years, there have been a teaching of propaganda of left behind, making true believers who really believe in Christ Making them think that you don't have to worry about anything. Making you think that you don't, you're not going to go into any persecution because before the mark of the beast and before Christ is revealed, okay, but before the pain comes on this earth, you're going to be uh, floated up into a cloud and raptured. That was propaganda through a left behind tape. It was prop, total propaganda. When Christ comes back, there, there will be nothing after Christ comes back as far as Another man setting up to do evil and giving you a chip. Okay? The chip is going down now. The mark of the beast and the satanic government have been fulfilled. It escalated every since they ran into the towers. So the Antichrist was already here. It's not just one man. It's a government. So while they, make, while they have you living a normal life, not understanding that you, you're all being programmed, to take a chip and follow an image. And you don't have to worry about it because they taught you in, in these churches that before the bad guy comes, you're going to be floated up into a cloud. Now, when Christ comes back, will the dead in Christ rise first and they that remain meet him in the air? Yes. That's true. But they said, they said it's going to happen before the tribulation, which is a lie. That's no way in the Bible. If you are followers of Christ, you would have to go through some suffering to get it, because he went through it. Don't believe that you're going to be floated up into a cloud and then someone's going to reveal the chip. I can prove to you that the chip is being implemented right now throughout the whole world. They're going to crash the dollar bill, there's going to be electronic money, and they're going to force you to get it. And they're going to tell you you don't have to worry about it because the Antichrist hasn't been revealed yet. You can take the chip because you don't want to see your child suffer. So are you saying, I'm sorry to Come on, you. anytime. Are you saying that basically the United States is the Antichrist? Not the people, but the the the, the processes, the, the democracy, so to speak, the government. The world government, not just America. Okay. So if that's the case, who else in it? Because America is, not, is a superpower, it's true, but it's not the ultimate power. So who else is in there? Because when I think of an evil uh, society, I think of some of the men over in, even though it may be propaganda, I, I see with my own eyes, some of the men over in these other countries that kill women for being raped by another man or the craziness with their... To me, I can't relate or, or sympathize with somebody when I can see them killing a woman for something she has no responsibility for. Or um, just some of the atrocities of war. I mean, just the way they treat people in other countries. And I don't see that here. So I, I understand what you're saying, that the system, the government itself, is, is, is turning. But show me some examples of where that's worldwide, is what I'm saying. Because I see the evil that, that's done here, but it doesn't compare. It fails to compare to what I see outside my window, is what I'm saying. All right. Okay? Well, well that's the picture they paint. Because you have to realize our media is being ran through government. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have to watch how we receive the information. Right. Because they paint the picture of these other people. Right. I'll tell you what, if I was over in the Middle East, and the only thing they publicized 
was what go down in the ghetto when you shoot and kill each other and all that. I would have a, a different spin. I'm living here, so I know all people are not equal. But if that's all they're programming, every time we see something from over the Middle East on our news, it's about them doing something bad to each other. But I'm sure there's some good stories, just like any other place in the earth. But what we're talking about is an antichrist government, a new world order that's been established to mark the people. See, I'm saying this because we have believers in this room. And Christ, our Lord, warned us about certain monetary spending systems that will let us know that we're in this time. And see, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to go into the Bible and show you how they tricked you. They tricked you by getting into our Christianity. This is not the Christianity Christ gave us, folks. In 325, under, under Constantine and the Nicene Creed, they integrated pagan beliefs with Christ's teachings. Satan been in the church ever since the fourth century. Yes. So when we were enslaved, we got that brand of Christianity, and that's the Christianity we trust in. Now, what's in our heart and how we love Jesus, that's because of the people we are. We love the feeling of following a God because that's the way we are. But we have to be careful. We have to separate the God they gave us from the God that's in our heart. Okay? Because we have to deal with as it is written. We have to connect back to that, to, to that God as it is written because you're going to find these government systems. The Queen of England, she's a Christian. George Bush, he's a Christian. They're Christians. The people that drug, drug, drug out behind over here in cargo slave ships was good old Christians. But those are the people Christ warned us about. Read Matthew 24 and 3. Drop everything, get Matthew 24 and 3, and get Revelation 13 so we can show that mark of the beast before I go into the King Alfred's plan. Read Matthew. Read Matthew. Matter of fact, start at the first verse. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Christ said, See all these buildings? Look nice, don't they? Look, look, how, look how big they have built. There will not be one stone left upon another that, that will not be thrown down. He's telling this place is going to crumble. Read. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what should be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So they asked Christ about the end of the world. You're going to find that's where we are. So if we're following Christ, we're going to be attentive to what he's about to show you. Read. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. That was the first thing. You better watch out for what man say. Read, because what man will do? Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Saying, I am what? I am Christ. Those and are Christians. The first thing he told you was, the people that will deceive you is the people using my name. So in the fourth century, Satan got up in Christianity. So now we must read the Bible and separate the Christ that we read from the Christ they're teaching us. And as soon as the teacher says something that's not in the Bible, hold up, brother. <clears throat> you that man, he warned us against. Read it again. Read that last part. For many shall come in my name saying, I am.